designed by Sir Edwin Lutons, the South Pier at the entrance to Runnymede Car Park is inscribed with a poignant reminder that among the pretty water meadows and rolling wooded hills, this place bore witness to a moment in time that changed the course of human history. The Battle of Bouvines in 1214, in which many English barons lost their title possessions in Normandy, King John's subsequent submission to the universal rule of papacy to avoid a French invasion and high taxes led to discontent among many of the most influential barons in the land. King John had survived minor rumblings of rebellion a few years earlier but in January 1215, the barons made an oath that they would stand fast for the liberty of the church and the realm and demanded that King John confirm their charter of liberties. Lengthy negotiations began. The king desperately attempted to buy himself some time in hope that he would receive support from the Pope, but the barons continued in their defiance and entered London on the 10th of June 1215. Left with no choice, King John agreed to the articles of the barons in a meadow at Runnymede five days later. In return, the barons renewed their oaths of fealty to the king and the document Magna Carta was created. The charter marks the foundation of civil liberty and consequently informs the constitutions of many other countries, notably the US. This walk makes use of the National Trust's superbly waymarked trails before returning along the Thames path. On the way we'll pass several memorials including one to John F. Kennedy and two very different monuments designed by Sir Edward Morfe, architect of Guildford Cathedral. The first of these, the American Bar Association Memorial, was constructed in 1957 and this simple yet effective little building is dedicated to Magna Carta's principles of freedom. The second is the Commonwealth Air Force Memorial, awe-inspiring in its scale. Beyond the immaculately tended gardens stands a huge white Portland stone building opened in 1953. Its walls recall the names of more than 20,000 Commonwealth aircrew who died for those same ideals of freedom during World War II, but whose bones have no known grave. Hello again everyone, uh, joined by the very lovely Candice, who's midway through stuff in her face. <laughs> we are in Surrey today, somewhere a bit different. You don't see me in Surrey very often, and I'm looking to rectify that. 
we are doing a little walk from 50 walks in Surrey this is the second walk I've done out of this entire book and I've had this book a while so need to be doing some more Surrey walks that's the plan going forward for myself and Candice as we, we've kind of got to the end of the year round walks in Kent book we've done a lot of stuff in Kent so we're going to start doing a lot more in Surrey so you'll be seeing that in future videos this walk is four miles in length we are at the historic site of Runnymede right near the River Thames, in fact the River Thames is just behind me and of course Runnymede, for all you history fans out there was the site of the signing of the Magna Carta in 1215 I believe yes it was, 1215 um, basically, you know, cut a long story short, the Magna Carta was one of the most important documents ever drawn up and it I suppose established like human rights, freedom. Candice is tucking into the homemade rolls that I I made They're this very morning. Nice. They're very nice apparently. Yeah, I had a couple in the car on the way here and they were good. So Runnymead is yeah a very important place in history. All to do with King John, bad King John and the Barons. And of course they made him sign Magna Carta. So we're going to be having a look at that. There's loads and loads of memorials here. All of this area is owned by the National Trust. Um, and we're currently sat at the Runnymede Memorial. No, the Magna Carta Memorial. Mm -hmm. And was it the American Bar, American mm -hmm. Bar Association Memorial as well? Having something to eat. Um, we've not been walking for very long, no. but we thought this seemed the nicest place to stop. Got a couple of things to show you. First off, this little item. Got this from China again. They send me all their crap. Um, it's basically a little fold-out stool. The, the camo. I don't think I actually wanted the camo, but turned out like so. It looks a little bit sad. But it was grey camo and I thought yeah it's pretty sturdy I've tried it it holds my weight and it folds up literally pretty small you get the gist it folds up anyway sending this one back <laughs> I think you have to be quite aggressive with it there we go well it's something like that it folds up pretty small anyway it weighs I think about a kilo if that and for for those trips when I'm going really lightweight and I don't want to carry like you know a heavy chair but I want a bit of comfort I want to be able to sit down and rest me legs and back and feet you know at the end of a day of walking this is ideal and it cost me something like a tenner so I put it back together anyways and I'll sort it out properly after oh, oh bloody hell, I haven't broken it now anyway so that's the stool oh, I've cocked that up big time chuck it to <laughs> one side we'll sort that out later <laughs> on <laughs> uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is it's going well so far this video that's pissed me off that as I'm not going to lie I'm going to punch something afterwards not, not you fine <laughs> Just a bench or something. Yeah, so the thing we've got next to show you. I've lost me rhythm, look, just gone. Just shit. Shadow of myself. Anyway. Right, next one is the lily cider. Dark cider, seven and a half percent made in Somerset as always. And I like the description on this one because they haven't said a lot about it. A mysterious medium cider with woody and caramel notes. Mysterious, straight away. It to me, it sounds like they don't even know about the cider. They don't even know. They don't know what's going on with it. So, gonna be interesting. But yeah, caramel notes and woody sounds interesting. Could be a strong one. It's 
got an interesting smell to it. It smells like sort of like cola bottle, sort of. They don't know what's in it. No. Woody, woody and caramel notes. You'll try it first sip. It's awful. It's awful, is it awful, right? Cheers everyone. Oh, I saw a white lose all the taste in my mouth. Oh. Even you don't not. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't oh that's that. a weird one. It's like they've tried to... I don't know what they've tried oh, to do burning, there. burning, not burning, but... <laughs> it's in a half time. I don't know. Well, that's from the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I enjoy your drink, Tom. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? That's the worst one I've had so far from Lily's. What would King you... John. <laughs> yeah, we're going to dedicate this one to King, King John, John, the Magna Carta, of course, and it sounds about right because he was a twat. Uh, so, yeah, oh. <laughs> I probably like it slightly more than Candice does. Like, If I had to, I could drink it, but I wouldn't necessarily enjoy it. But, you know... I, I drink alcohol now to enjoy it, not to just get pissed. So if I'm, you know, if I'm gonna drink so I want to enjoy it, mm. not just like, do you know what I mean? Like neck it, just you know, get pissed off it or whatever. What would you give that out of ten? Two. Two out of ten. Yeah, I'm not gonna be far off of it. I don't even think that gets a five out of ten. I would probably give that a three point seven five out of ten. It's not worthy of a four. Um, there is a word for it. Shit. Vile. Do you think it tastes a little bit like flat coke? No, it's horrible. It's like flat coke and vinegar. It's just that. And an oak oh. tasting cider mixed together. Those three things vinegar, flat coke, and like an oak aged cider. That's where I'm getting that wood taste from. The caramel, I'm not getting any of that from. I lied about the caramel. No, I don't know what to make of it, but it's not great. But you can see why they call it a dark cider, dark by colour. Yeah, it's not a winner for us, I'm afraid. This is a really cool memorial inside, at first, what looks like a World War II bunker or something. It's circular, it's got an open roof to the sky in the centre. You sort of walk around a circular tunnel and then it comes into this sort of room, as I say, with this open roof and like a, an artificial pond and the famous. Uh, law from Magna Carta is is actually backwards and upside down but then when you look it in the water it reads the right way so it says no free man shall be seized or imprisoned or stripped of his rights or possessions or outlawed or exiled or deprived of his standing in any way nor will we proceed with force against him or send others to do so except by the lawful judgment of his equals or by the law of the land and of course that is the most famous law from Magna Carta so still upheld today probably Except King John. The thing is, it's not. This isn't. This isn't maintained everywhere. I like 
Like, I've got to be in my bonnet about this. It's not really. I mean, you look at half the things that are going on in the world, that's bollocks. There are people still breaking that rule all the time. But in most civilised countries anyway, um, if you want to include America in that, it's up to you. But, I mean, some of the bad stuff that's happened there recently, you know, I kind of don't really think that's this applies. But we're not going to get political on Tom Outdoors anyway. I just don't know. Like, I agree with it. But it's, it's not really been adhered to everywhere, so which is a shame. But yeah, what a lovely memorial to it. And then there's like a stone bench around the edge. That's one of the best ones so far. We're almost certain to see and hear sizeable flocks of Canada geese honking in the meadows which surround Langham Ponds. These large birds have unmistakable long black necks and heads with a bold white flash extending around the cheeks and under the chin. Like swans, Canada geese pair for life and may live for as long as 20 years. They were first brought to this country from the American colonies in the 17th century to decorate the landscaped parks of the gentry.
you're thinking of visiting here, why not splash out on a boat trip to complete your day on the River Thames? In summer, the replica Victorian paddler Lucky Fisher runs regular 45 minute trips from Runnymede landing stage adjacent to the start of the walk. The boat also calls at Runnymede Pleasure Gardens, a pretty public park. You'll get a warm welcome at the Magna Carta Tea Rooms at the start. The menu includes hot and cold drinks, all day breakfasts, light lunches, sandwiches, cakes and cream teas, as well as delicious soups and jacket potatoes. But it was closed when we went there. So, we don't really know if we're going to be able to do much of this, but that rucksack that Candice is carrying, we have just found by the side of the road there, like well over the side of the barrier, and there was just paperwork and stuff strewn everywhere. So we, you know, we picked out because we thought it was litter, and it turns out that uh, the bag contained, apart from paperwork and stuff to do with, I don't know, like work. Yeah, like like building work, architecture, landscape, or something. There was also uh, like laptop cables, USB cables, but no laptop. So, I reckon someone's stolen it, has stolen the person's rucksack, and as they're driving along, they've rifled through it, looking for like electronic goods, things of, you know, value, found the laptop, taken that, and tossed that out the car, and fucked off. Crime in Surrey. So, we're going to take that to... The National Trust people up at the end there. It's not far to walk with it um, and hand it in because this is technically this stretch of the river is owned by the National Trust. So, I suppose they've got a duty to deal with it. But we try to look for like names, things like that. But I couldn't find anything on there really. Like, I, well, there was one name, but couldn't find a phone number or anything otherwise I'd have called them and said look your bag's been nicked I've found the rest of it minus the laptop anyway yeah terrible isn't it what people do stuff like that they're arseholes yeah, that's, someone's work. that's someone's work exactly yeah well. yeah look you've pissed Candice off that's, it's not on anyway there's the beautiful river again yeah it's bad Right, it's, it's sort of raining as well, it's a fine rain at the moment, so yeah. yeah, we can see there, the car park's there. So, we're back at the Magna Carta Tea Rooms, which is behind us. That's the end of this video, the end of the walk. It's been a good little walk in yeah. Surrey. Don't really come here very often, so like I said earlier, I want to rectify that and start doing some more Surrey walks. Yeah, it hasn't got a coastline, but it's got some amazing rivers, hills, woodlands. It's a fantastic county, really, and tons of history as well. Some real significant things, like the signing of the Magna Carta, has happened in Surrey. So, you know, for me, it's um, it's like curry to a pisshead. I've got to do it, you know. History and walks, uh, yeah, anyway. And the uh, memorial thing, that's amazing. The, more, the memorials were amazing on this walk, yeah. some of the best that we've ever seen. Very yeah, fun, was brilliant. That was, it was very good, very special. Yeah. And had like a kind of a church vibe to it, which was nice. Mm. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let us know if you want to see more Surrey walks, we certainly want to do more. With that rucksack that we found, I think I found a name in there. I'm going to try and look for them on Facebook and if they're from the Surrey area, maybe contact them and say, look, have you lost a bag with loads of paperwork and like laptop cables in and stuff like that? If not, we'll just hand it to the police. If not, we'll hand it into the police, yeah. But I just feel like we've got to do something because I remember when I was at school and I had a bag of like paperwork and books and stuff um, stolen by some kid in school and they found it about a week later they found just loads of it all dumped on like the main road and like i remember like my mum bought me all these like french dictionaries all this stuff um probably why it got nicked i probably got bullied for having all the all the stuff that you kind of didn't really need at school because they had them at school anyway 
And I just remember I felt gutted, really. Like, I really liked them books. My mum had spent a lot of money on them. And they were, they were fucked, for want of a better word, you know. Like, they'd been run over multiple times and stuff. And I just saw that, and it reminded me of that. And I thought, I've got to find whose bag this is. And in some ways get it back to them or, or do something. So, but yeah, like Candy says, if not, we'll stand it into the local yeah. bacon station. So, yeah. you know. Anyways, until next time, take care of yourselves, look after each other, stay safe, everyone. Cheers for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, good news. Add on to this video, we've just been sifting through all of this uh, this paperwork and we found the name of a company uh, on the paperwork that's actually based in Dartford. We literally like mm. Googled it and I just called them and I said, have you got such and such a name? I can't tell you of course that works mm. here because we've got paperwork that's got their name all over it. And they went, we have, um, they couldn't believe that we'd found it and was like, um, I'll get you, I'll get this person to give us uh, a call or a message um, and then we'll liaise with getting this stuff back to them and we'd, we sort of go through Dartford anyway to sort of get back to drop Candice off and drop me off so it's no problem um, but yeah I can't believe that, that's brilliant, I'm actually really happy about it so we'll see anyway so yeah just want to let you know, um, yeah that's worked out Hunky dory, brilliant. Mm. <laughs> Laters. Laters. Go on. No! Go on, go on, go on, go on. Jesus. <laughs>